Hello guys, Damon Ducky 2 here. Uh, today, I'm going to be starting a little series here where we're going to be making a cruiser, f I mean not a cruiser, but a destroyer for Dominion of Dama. This will be for the Gothic Reich, which is the name of the German-based faction for Dominion of Dama. Uh, this right here is the light cruiser for the Gothic Reich, and we're going to be using these cannons that I made specifically for it. So, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, Gothic Reich, they almost exclusively use cram cannons as their main weapons. So, it makes building them just a little bit more different from the rest. Uh, the, well, I, um, I say exclusive, but the Ion's working on a faction for this where they're going to be using cram cannons as well. More details uh, as uh, we get further into the development of Dominion Dam on that, but uh, for right now, I just want to uh, get started building uh, the um, destroyer for you guys. So, Here's kind of uh, what the gun looks like itself. I don't know if I'm going to be sticking with high explosive. Um, I am considering either using frag or just pure kinetic. We'll just have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm wanting to go with for this. I may also do something with the barrel, try to extend a little bit more, try to get a bit more accuracy out of it, but we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Anyhow, uh, let's get started building this thing probably do something about 100 meters. Um, I'm going to be doing this loosely based on the S-113 class destroyer that came out about 1918 according to my research. I'll uh, be sure to put a picture of it right about now for you guys to see it so you can get an idea of what I'm trying to do here. Right, so first thing... Oh, I need to switch that back to that color. First thing I'm going to do is we're going to try to get the length down. I want to go for about 100 meters here. more how to do it. Yep, 100 meters even. I have no idea how deep the hole is going to be, so we're just going to do like that for now. Alright, and we know the center of mass is going to be roughly here. I think I might want to go about... I don't know about that wide with it, but uh, we'll just kind of have to wait and see what we get to here. Alright, so looking at this, it's got kind of an interesting shape to the bow here. Let's go ahead and get started with shaping that. Sometimes it's good to use these 2 meter because uh, when it comes to painting it can get to be a real pain in the ass when you're trying to uh, paint specific blocks but you can't around the water line. So that's one of the reasons why I want to do it this way. And I think I want this to be brought down just a little bit more like so. And it looks like the bow comes almost like straight up here. Something like that. So then we're going to just take this guy like almost completely straight back. I want just a little bit of space between the uh, scaffold here and the actual hull itself that we're going to be building. Uh, reason being is it'll make it easier to delete the scaffold later. Um, that reminds me, I should probably go ahead and slap one of these origin blocks on here so we can use this with a docking station. Uh, no, I don't want the visual effect there. There we go. That'll do. Hope you guys will get motion sickness watching this. Anyway. So, let's get a quick measurement, see how deep of a bow we're going to need for this. One, two, okay, eight meters, that's not horrible. 
I'd feel better if this came up like maybe another two, three meters. So we'll do like that. That's probably good. So we're just going to go with kind of what's been my standard here lately, just going with the uh, offsets gently as we go. I'm quite sure how we're going to make that transition, or if we can. Actually, let's, let's try something a little different here. Yeah, I think that'll work better. I'll make transitioning from one angle to another just a little bit easier. Like so. There we go. And I think I want to go to a three meter slope now. I'm going to do that maybe once or twice and then bump up to four meter. And we're going to need the three meter offset for this. I find that kind of going with these gradual curves, it uh, gives these some very nice lines, especially for the bows. Go to the four meter slopes. Actually, I'm wondering if this might be a bit of the big side. I want to just do a quick comparison. Eh, it'll be, yeah, it'll be a little bit smaller. Well, what's the width on this thing? Okay. Well, we got going on here then. Wait, it's probably counting these. Yeah, the casemate crams. Okay, I think we can safely go up maybe like another two meters and call it good. That's better. Okay, so right about here, I want to come down just a little bit, like two meters. There we go. We'll bring this back to about there. Depending on how well this thing sits in the water, I might end up doing a little bit of PID fuckery with this. Okay, so I think we want this front turret to be right about here. Or I could move it just like a... Hmm. 
Just trying to figure out what kind of placement I would like for this. I think right about there looks good. That means we can oops, bring this down just a hair. But I, I mean, yeah. Let's let's do something kind of unique with the front here. Let's do something a little bit like this. Oops. And something like that. Okay. And I'm trying to think of what kind of armor scheme I like for this. Don't mind that. That's just one of my seven days to die videos. Finish rendering. It's actually been a very good series, at least for me. I hope you guys have been watching and enjoying that. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with two layers of metal for this. Yeah. Actually, there's a better way to do this. That looks good, okay. Length five and boom. Boom. I'm trying to think of how I like to do this, but here I, th I gotta. Yeah, we'll do it like this. I did something similar on a French destroyer. I made mean, not too far back. And just give that turret a little bit more protection. Um, like I said, still have decided what kind of shell I want coming out of these things. But yeah, we need to bring our mirror line back up and get back to building the hull here. Something like this. We can just fill that all in. So far, so good. So this is going to end up having four of those guns. And I think I should go ahead and start putting in some bulkheads. I think it's probably going to be good enough here. I want to get an air pump in here, please, like so. I 
think this might be a good spot for an AI. We have lots of room for processing power. And I think we'll be putting the bridge directly above this. We'll just come back to that dude later. Okay. We'll just have a quick look at my example here. Um, Trying to think of how I'd like to do the deck armoring. I think it's something like that, and we're not going to worry too much about this bit here. some reinforced decking on there, like so. Mm, no, I don't like that. That's how it should look, yeah. Here we're going to grab some stairs. Yeah, that'll do. Let's start on a bridge. Actually, I think something like that'll do. We can just go back and fix this here. I wanted to do it this way because the alloy is going to have more strength than the um, reinforced wood decking. I think I'm okay with it coming back to about there. Just trying to continue on the pattern that we established up there. Try to use larger blocks where I can. Okay, so I'm thinking how I want to do this shit. I 
Oh, first off. Let's do that. And we're going to replace that with that. So, when building a smaller ship like this, um, I find putting the sensors in the uh, tower usually a pretty good place to hide them. I'm going to use the uh, old standard here of putting them behind alloy portals. And let's see here, let's grab some sensor equipment. No, I don't need that. At least not yet. We'll put that there and put that there and we will get laser range finders and 90 degree cameras pointing outside like that. Let's see, how do I want to do this upper bit? First, we need to figure out where the pattern is going to go, and I believe it's right about there. It looks right anyway. Yep. And I'm going to replace these with three meter beams, like so. I'd expect this thing to take a whole hell of a lot of damage. It should be fairly tanky with the armor that we got on it so far. Alright, and we are going to be putting our bridge up here. I don't think I'd like to do this. Sorry, I thought I heard someone at the door there. Gonna have like a little observation area up here. We have gotten our cat a new litter box, and <laughs> it is a self-cleaning one, and Deuce is quite fascinated with this device. I think that's what I probably thought was coming in. He went to go check it out, I suppose. Alright, we'll put those bulkhead doors in there. And I think I'm going to use those to mount some anti-aircraft guns when we get a little further along here. I think this will look good. And decorations, there we go. I might put some more sensors in that, I don't know yet. And you can probably still hear Deuce making a deuce back there. Oops, you turned that the wrong damn way, didn't we? really don't like how transparent the blast is in this. So we're just going to 
paint all this light blue color so I can see it a bit better. Here we want control, and we're going to throw in a ship's wheel right back here. Just I don't want it painted, of course. There we go. Here we go. And we're going to put in some all one controllers here. Oh, that needs to be a three meter. There we go. So we're going to be putting our first funnel just behind that. And I think I know how I want to do it. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to turn on the mirror mode. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. And we're going to go here into sub-objects. No, 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 that's not what I was thinking of. Um, yeah, here. And a spin block. We'll put you right about there, Mr. Spin Block. And... I think I want it to go like Five degrees. Let's see which way that. Oh, that. Yeah, that's definitely the direction I wanted it. Awesome. Okay. Now we're just going to take some alloy beams. Hmm. Nah, I don't think that's going to work. I want it to come back just a hair. Like, uh, maybe here. Have a look at yeah. That's probably good. So let's see here. I want to grab decoration, smoke. There we go. Alright, now I'm gonna add new decoration. I want a boiler. Go with the large. No, no, I need the medium, my bad. And well, no, it's not pitch we're needing. It's kind of hard to tell when you're doing these on spin blocks. You may want this to be 90. And we want the up and down. Nope, up, up. forward and backward, I take it in. No, that's forward and backward positioning. Um, stuff. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. 
That looks pretty good. Right about there looks good. Have a quick look here. Yeah. I think we can live with this. And I think that's as big as that decoration gets, so let's go ahead and add a second one. There's the one I'm looking for. Uh, let's see here. We need scale. Not quite that one. Not quite that one. Yeah, I can live with that. Yeah, okay. There is a little bit of structure down here. Not a whole hell of a lot. We may not even need that, but that's okay. Yeah, we did need it after all. Okay. There. I think that turned out pretty good. Let's see here. Then we have a torpedo launcher, according to what I'm looking at here. I'm not entirely sure how many torpedoes these things handle together. I'm looking at... Okay. I'm looking at the uh, Naval Encyclopedia here to see what kind of torpedoes I want. I'm kind of tempted just to develop a new one and slap her on there. I think we may end up doing that. Okay, let's see. So let's grab a I can just rip these torpedoes off of here. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. I think I want it to go right about here. Uh, it looks like it faced the other way. So, right about here, yeah. Should have all the wiring and whatnot in there, so good. All right, and we're going to go in here. We're gonna add a new decoration. And let's see, I want to go with One meter alloy pole. Okay, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Alright, and let's see. I want left and right scaling. And four bucket scaling. Nope, wrong one. That means that I have ran out of time for this video. Uh, let's just go ahead and get this decoration placed, and uh, we will carry on in the next. I think that looks pretty good there. But 
Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pull the video there. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been Dammit Up 2 Y'all have yourselves a hell of a day. And keep your hammer high. Later.